For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. We're actually fixing up the house. We have a women and children's house now, and uh, it also is going to serve pregnant women as well. So it's a new program. We got grants for it for the program, which is called PCAP, which is Parent Child Assistance Program. So we'll be hiring two new employees for that. In addition to that, we've got a grant that's going to help us fund the house here and also our existing men's house and our women's house. This is going to house how many? We'll probably house about uh, six women and probably up to four or five children. It's, it's not clear. It kind of depends on the census that we get, and then we'll make adjustments as it goes based on need. But I think the really important thing to understand is that this is the only house like this in the area, number one. And number two, there are so many women who need to get into treatment and need to transition to living or help, but they don't have anyone to help with their children. And so not having a safe place for their children to go holds them back from going to treatment. So this is going to solve that problem. And so this is uh, kind of scheduled to be open about mid-October? About mid-October, yes, give or take. We're, we're trying to get it fixed up as fast as we can. We've got some bunk beds on order, and uh, the Internet's coming today, so we're on our way. Yeah. And so how do uh, people get into these treatment facilities? What's kind of the criteria for that? They would need to um, be appropriate for treatment. So what they would do is come into Living Free Health. We would assess them. We would determine what their need was. If they were appropriate for um, that level of care, and assuming that they are, then we'll put them in treatment. Can other people help volunteer to get this going? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We have a number of people. I put posts up on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I put my phone number so that they can contact me, text me, uh, call me, etc. But, yeah, it's open for the public to, to help us. We had tremendous help in 2018 when we started the women's house and also the men's house. So we couldn't get it done without Perump. Yeah, exactly. So if people want to volunteer, if they want to get involved, if they need your services, which are vast, mm -hmm. how do they contact you? If they need our services, they can call our office number at 775-505-1625. If they're looking to volunteer and help, they can call that number as well and ask to speak to me or get in touch with Dave or Ed, and we'll get back to you. And also you have a website if people want to find out what services there is to offer, right? Absolutely. Our website is livingfreehealth.org. And we just revamped that website. It's almost done, but we have a local company doing that for us too. So... We're very, very perump oriented and um, we're really focused on serving the rurals.